What's up guys, Isaac here, and today I'm gonna to make a video to show you guys how to be extremely productive. And I'm gonna show you how these tips that I'm giving you have translated into direct results through showing you my university grades and whatnot. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, I wanna talk about the importance of choosing the right environment to do your work at. See right here, I've got this um, kind of desk in my bedroom, right here as you can see, um, where I've got my books, my laptop, and this is a good place for me to do work for my YouTube channel, for my Instagram, for my you know online entrepreneurship hustle and stuff. But it's not a very good place for me to study because what happens is my brain has associated this workstation with those particular activities. So your brain is going to associate different workstations with different activities. So you need to make sure whenever you want to study or do some serious work, you go to a place that you associate with study. You don't want to study on your bed because you're brain associates the bed with sleeping in the same way you wouldn't meditate on your bed otherwise you end up falling asleep you want to go somewhere quiet perhaps a library or something where your brain's gonna recognize okay this is the environment for studying let's get studying and anyway, I'll show you guys where I study in the house all right so for me this is where the magic happens right here on this desk this is a second um, desk in my house where I've got the main desktop computer and this is where I actually do my studying right so I get my ass on this chair here. I have my uni stuff, my books, my engineering work here, as you can see. And what I do, right, is I go to an online stopwatch. And what you do with the stopwatch is, you, as soon as you start studying, you don't wanna get rid of all distractions. You wanna get rid of your phone, you wanna log off Facebook, you wanna get rid of Instagram. Get your phone somewhere else, get your iPad somewhere else, and just sit your ass down and get the stopwatch. And the stopwatch is gonna represent uninterrupted work time. So you're gonna set it, right? A stopwatch, you're gonna start from when you start studying and you're gonna give yourself goals to achieve. So perhaps you're gonna say to yourself, after an hour and a half of direct work, no, no interruptions, you're gonna have a break, maybe watch Game of Thrones or watch Power or something. Then you come back and do the same thing again, hour and a half, maybe two hours, maybe 30 minutes. You need to find out what works for you. It's different for different people. Some people can't do uninterrupted work for a very long time. Some people can. You need to find what works for you and experiment. I found for me a good amount of time is an hour and a half to two hours. But if I'm feeling really good, I just keep going while I'm in that flow state when my mind's in the zone. Now, what I do with this time is, I have this book here. I've created this little grid. So whenever I complete one hour of study, right, I put a little cross, I put a little cross. And this is a way for you to be accountable to see how much work you've actually done. And you might set a goal for yourself. So you're going to put a mark over here or over here, a position that represents a certain amount of study. Whenever you get to that point, you're going to reward yourself. You're going to do something that you actually really like because you would have done a lot of work, right? Paint maps, you going to have binge out on three episodes of Power or Game of Thrones or you're gonna fucking do whatever the fuck you wanna do, all right? So if you can get into the habit of doing this, it's gonna really discipline you into getting the zone of working. Now, uh, luckily for me, I have this desk here where I actually do this work, but if you don't have your own desk, you need to find somewhere quiet. A good place is the library, of course. Get one yourself, um, get yourself one of those um, closable fucking rooms, close it, turn the internet off if you don't need it and just get to work. And this doesn't just apply for university work, this applies for anything. You need to find, number one, the place where your brain associates, that your brain associates with study. Number two, you need to use this timer system as a way to be accountable to actually see how much work you've done. A lot of people tell me that they've studied for eight hours when in reality they might have studied for three hours and spent five hours fucking around on Facebook and browsing tabs. This represents uninterrupted work. And this 20 hours here that I'm showing you is just from the other uh, past two days when I was studying for this exam that I had. Anyway, now I'm gonna show you guys um, how this system that I've been using for the past couple of years is actually translated into direct results. All right, guys, for you guys that don't know what um, course I do, I am studying mechanical engineering and it's quite fun. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, if you look right at the bottom there, it shows my results from 2015. And the first one's like Mech 343, and I got 43, which is a fail. Next one's Mech 226, 43, fail. Mech 201, 50, just barely passed. Ecti 290, 59, just barely passed. 
You see, this is 2015. Um, I wasn't very focused. I wasn't using the strategy that um I showed you guys. So my results were pretty shit. Uh, 2015 still Mac 252 is a credit, which is kind of average. Mac 203 satisfactory. Ns 252 pass. Ns 251 fail. So clearly, I was not uh, really doing the best there, as you can see. Pretty shitty year. Um, I failed like fucking three subjects. But I started implementing um, this technique to a degree in 2016, and the results um, improved a bit. See, Fizz295, um, 85, which is a HD, which is completely fucking different from what I've been doing in 2015, which is good. Mac 343, which is one of the subjects I failed in 2015, 77, that's a distinction, 226, 65 credit, 50, uh, 60 for Mac 215, um, 341 pass, which is pretty shitty, 283 pass, which is pretty shitty, 251 distinction. So two shitty subjects um, in 2016, but the rest were pretty good. Now let's fast forward to um, some of the results for this year when I've really been going balls deep into this strategy I just showed you guys. Okay, looking from the uh, top down for this year, these are just assessment marks. Um, we haven't got results yet for this session. Um, the first mark is 76 out of 100, next one 63, next one 69. Pretty decent. Then we got 86, which is a HD, 86, which is a HD, 90, which is a HD. 41 out of 100, the one anom anom anomaly of the year. I was actually sick on this quiz, but you know, fucking not too bad considering I was pumping the rest of it. 75, which is a distinction, 48.5 out of 50, which is a HD, 100%, which is a HD. As you can see, this strategy, this way of studying definitely fucking works. It, only if you um, are willing to put in the work. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing this to brag. Knowledge here in my garage. I'm just showing you guys that if you actually put your mind to it, you can definitely improve your results dramatically if you use the strategies I talked about previously. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Peace. Do it! Just do it!